Welcome back to the Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's live daily news and talk show. I'm Tyler Keith, alongside Dave Scott and Diane Chabon. One of the fun events happening tonight in Kego Harbor and throughout our communities is the once monthly Kego Harbor Block Party. This is a relatively new event that's been going on all summer long and it continues tonight at Rose Sorter Park in Kego Harbor. Joining us to, to give us all the details is Kirsten Sonneville Douglas from Kego Harbor Parks and Recreation. Kirsten, thanks for being with us. Good morning, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you on to talk about this. It's a fun event. A lot of people already saying how much they enjoy these block parties in Kegel Harbor as they've been going on this summer and, and in the past. Tell us about the Kegel Harbor block party. What is this event and what makes it a special gathering for those in Kegel month to month? So it's the third Friday of June, July and August. It was something that we wanted to create to bring our community back together. Um, and bring live music to the community. We've got this beautiful gazebo behind uh, City Hall and Rose Sorter Park. It just got a new roof actually last month, which is so exciting. Um, and just a way to bring our community together. We have a food truck that will be there. So this uh, tonight's event at 5.30 will have The Pulse. It's a cover band and New Delhi food truck. We'll also have art sale there. So our local artisans and crafters will be able to, um, you'll be able to see their offerings. What I love about this is it's a social event. It, it's got activities. It's got something for people of all different ages. And it also really encompasses what Kego Harbor is all about as a community at so many different levels. How did that factor in for you and, and others with Kego Harbor Parks and Rec as you're planning these block parties for this summer? Um, it started two years ago with just trying it out. Um, again, trying to do something different and bringing music to live music to the park. And so we tried it and it was really well received and it was just right off of the edge of on the end of COVID. And so it was again, trying to build the momentum, bring people back together. Um, again, that sense of community and, um, belonging. And so we started it and it was really well received, like I said. And so, um, People were saying we should do it more often. <laughs> so uh, we committed to doing it the third Friday of June, July, and August, especially when the nice the weather's nice, so people can bike. Right, we're a small community, a half a mile, so people can walk and just bring a blanket, um, bring a chair, and enjoy some good music, good food, and um, to be with your community. And back in the day, when I when I started here six years ago, there was a once a year event that was sort of like this, the Kegel Harbor Skate and Activity Night. It would happen in the fall or in the late summer. It was a once off event, a whole lot of fun. A lot of people from Kegel Harbor and neighboring areas came out. But as you said, like so many other things in the community, that kind of went away with COVID-19 because we had to be apart from each other. So as you're factoring in the, the old with the Kegel Harbor Skate and Activity Night, the social isolation of COVID-19 and coming back out and back together as a community. How did all of those things sort of factor in to build into this block party idea and expanding this out over time? So that's a great question. So the my understanding is the skate night started more as a bike night, skate night from our police department. They blocked off the road so the kids have a safe, had a safe place to bike and to um, skate. They would give helmets out. And then it just kind of snowballed and got bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it was the skate night that you remember with so many um, bounce houses and they had the zip line from Oakland County and it just became a little too much and a little pricey. <laughs> and so we had to kind of revamp it and rethink how we were going to organize it. Um, and we had the opportunity to kind of re-examine everything through Parks and Rec. And it was again, how do we bring it back to the community? Something small, something more manageable. And so that's where the new version of the block party kind of emerged. And the location for this is at Rose Sorter Park. For those that are new to Kego or, or want to explore Kego, get to know some of their neighbors, maybe either from outside communities and just want to get to know people in their local area. Where is Rose Sorter Park? So it's right behind City Hall. Um, it's a block off of Cass Lake. Um, you have old Roosevelt building and it's the building behind there and the park behind there. There's a nice gazebo. There's a little pond, a couple of swings. Um, we've got picnic benches. It's just a really nice place to come and visit. Um, and um, you can access it by off of Orchard Lake Road. I know it's a little crazy right now with the construction, um, but Beachmont, it's right off of Beachmont and Schroeder. And so I, I wanted to bring that up 
for that purpose of the of the traffic conversation because of the construction on Orchard Lake Road it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to get into those neighborhood roads and this is not against that traffic order if you're coming to the Kegel Harbor Black Party you can come in through those neighborhood roads and navigate to where you need to go in terms of parking there is limited parking at the City Hall and the Police Department complex uh, and this is at 5:30, so it's after regular hours uh, today with the City Hall closed but overflow parking is there going to be other other areas people can park nearby yeah Ro um, Roosevelt um, parking lot is always available to us so they've been super great about letting us um, utilize that so that's a nice big parking lot and then we have handicap parking it's also, also available, available right there yeah sorry <laughs> and and so again this is a uh, July 21st that's tonight 5 30 p.m. Rose Sorter Park right behind a city hall in Kingo Harbor. You'll recognize it. It's got the big gazebo out there. Plenty of people will be out there as well as, well as live music, food trucks, and community organizations and games as well. Kirsten, the musical act tonight is The Pulse. Tell us about this band, why it was chosen for this event. What sort of music people can expect to be bumping at tonight's Kingo Harbor Block Party? So tonight it's a, a cover band. Um, I try to kind of do a little bit of something different for each one. So last month was a country band. Um, this one is a cover band. This one's gonna get, hopefully get people up moving and dancing. That's my music. So I'm excited about that one. Um, and then next month will be Bugs Beto and The Good Stuff. Yeah, that's a good band too, rated uh, very fairly recently as one of the top R&B and soul bands in metropolitan Detroit. We're going to continue to try to get Bugs on the program here to talk about that. In terms of food, New Delhi is going to be the food truck of choice this month. What's that food, those food choices looking like for tonight? So that is favorite with an Indian twist. So they'll have, and I don't know what the menu is exactly tonight, but I've seen it on their website, like an egg salad, but with like a curry um, flair. So I'm very excited. Um, actually, our um, Mayor Pro Tem was the one who um, introduced me to them and said this is one of her favorite um, food trucks that she um, frequents. And so we were excited to have and invite them to the party. You can learn more information about Kiko Harbor Parks and Recreation by going to kegoharbor.org, get involved, including in, in getting involved in planning the Kiko Harbor Block Party's rest of this year and into next summer and beyond as this has become a fan favorite in Kiko Harbor. Joining us on the program is Kirsten Sonneville Douglas from Kiko Harbor Parks and Recreation. It's not just food, it's not just music, it's not just community gathering, there's games as well and, and plenty of opportunities to meet some of the people and organizations in Kiko Harbor. Tell us about some of the games, the other activities activities and uh, also about art sale on site tonight. Yes. Um, I first want to say thank you to Jets Pizza first. I need to mention they're the ones that sponsor the band. Um, so we have their support. And so I want to make sure we thank them. Um, we have games. We have um, yard games. So we have cornhole. We've got ladder golf. We've got um, yard Jenga. Um, we'll have the path around Row sorter is going to be paved, and so then we'll have chalk for kids to play with for the next one. And then we have our local artisans and crafts with art sale that will be there. We have um, fantastic um, painters. We've got a tarot reader this time that's coming. We've got um, ones that make handmade soaps and candles, baskets. It's it's so awesome to see the local artists and how talented they are, and that we have them right here in Kego Harbor. And that's what's great about the Kiko Harbor Block Party and, and all that you've got planned, your team has planned for tonight and, and for August as well to, to uh, cap this all off for the summer is there is something for all different kinds of people in Kiko Harbor. There's plenty for families, but it's not limited to families. There's plenty for adults, but it's not limited to adults. And it's not just a simple community gathering. How did that also factor in to make this event as you're planning it something that can attract anyone in your community and will be something that's going to be fun for the entire Kiko Harbor community? So I have a young family. I have a 10 year old. And so it needed to be something that would keep his interest in it right and so they're on the swings they are running around the loop that go around the the pond and um making sure that the food was available so the family could start for if you have a young family we have it starting at 5 30 it goes to 8 30 so that we're not missing going starting at eight o'clock so would miss the young families that have to do bedtime and stuff like that but then also to have the food and the music so that the adults 
are entertained and having um, a good time. And so we have those uh, family games, cornhole, anyone can play it, right? And so it's just a good time. It's so fun to see everyone. We'll see our police officers playing Jenga with some of the kids too. And that, that really warms my heart. And, and, and it's right in the heart of Keiko Harbor. It's at City Hall. It's a walking distance from so many other places. So you can come down there about 5.30 at the beginning of the event, hang out for a couple of hours, and then there's still plenty of your Friday night left to go and support other local businesses in the community before they close for the evening. Many of the local restaurants and bars will also still be open afterwards. So something for everyone and a great way to support the community. Kirsten, if people want to get involved in Keiko Harbor Parks and Recreation to plan more of these sort of events all throughout the year, bringing people together, how can they get involved yes please um, we have open seats on our commission we have open seats on all the commissions actually um, they can find information on our city website which is kegoharbor.org um, and then also follow us on our facebook page um, they can come to our meetings just to see what's happening um, but on our facebook page we have calls for volunteers from cleaning one of the canals every spring to helping paint some of the um grills at all of our parks um, to helping with the Memorial Day Parade. We've got our community garden. So if we have gardeners that don't have the space, we do have that. So there's a lot that the um, Parks and Rec is involved with, especially with grant writing and grant projects coming up. You can find more information online. KeyGoHarbor.org is the place to go. Kirsten, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tyler. Have a great weekend. You as well. The Kego Harbor Black Party kicks off tonight, 5.30 p.m., goes to about 8.30 p.m. at Rose Sorter Park in Kego Harbor. That's at City Hall just down the street from Roosevelt. Parking at Roosevelt as well as at City Hall uh, while those spaces last at City Hall. The Pulse is your musical artist. Art sales, some games on site. New Delhi will be the food truck of choice this month. And if you missed tonight, still plenty of time with another event coming up in August. KegoHarbor.org for all of that.